Hey, today I want to try out Astro, which is a static site generator. I'm a real big fan of static site generators. I really like the idea of doing more with less. I haven't really seen that much about this project, but I thought I'd try it out on a, on, on a video and start from scratch and see what it's all about. So I'm in my GitHub directory. I'm going to run the command to create a project. And we're going to install. <laughs> That's cool. What should we call the project? Testing Astro. Let's include sample files. This is a cool interface. Yeah, sure. Install dependency. We're, let's skip TypeScript for right now. Yeah, let's initialize Git here. All right, and then we should be able to change directory in. Okay, cool. So we got our directory here. Their site is really nice. I like their site. It's it's kind of like the, it kind of reminds me of Stripe from a few years ago, the theming and stuff. So it says that you can connect with a CMS, you can use Markdown, you can use MDX, or you can use an API to fetch your content, which is cool. Use tools you already love. You can use things like React, Svelte, Vue, SAS, Tailwind, Deploy via Cloudflare, GitHub, Netlify, Fursal, AWS, Google. Looks like they have community support. So let's get started. All right, so we did this. So the command is, I believe we use npm to install. Do npm run dev. And we're on port 3000. And there's our site. It's really quick loading, which is cool. Let's open up the directory in VS Code and take a look here. So we got dev, start, build, preview, and astro as scripts. We got a config file, git ignore. Oh, this is interesting. So the pages are the extension dot astro. Let's add the extension in VS code to make it easier to see. So we got kind of some front matter here, which is where you import your components. And we have a layout component with a title prop. We got the main section of our site. We got some HTML inside, and then we got a card component. And then the styling they put underneath. That's inter interesting. And then let's see, here's the layout. So this is a little TypeScript, even though we said we weren't going to use it. I wonder if it's a requirement. And here we're setting the title as a deconstructed prop. Here's our main HTML body, the doc type and HTML tags, the head. There's our title that we're going to pass in with each page. So here, this is where this is coming from. The title is passed into the layout, which is all injected into the head. Slot. Slot element is a placeholder for external HTML content. <laughs> so we inject the slot. And then we do we declare the style on the bottom, just like we did on the page, on the index page. 
and is global. So this sets st global styles. We got some rules here for accent, accent gradient. Some typefaces. Let's check out the card component. Wow, this is... Maybe it just looks longer because the, the style is underneath, but this looks like a long component. Compared to like a React component, this would be very short. But it makes sense if this style is underneath, listed underneath. This is weird syntax. It's kind of like uh, kind of like writing styles embedded in the HTML file rather than a separate sheet. So this is a little different than like step importing style sheets or this is also different than, you know, inline styles, obviously. So this is interesting how they do this. And again, this is the front matter. There's front matter. So the astro extension is kind of like an MDX file. And then within the front matter, we're loading in the type the typeface props, the prop types, and the props themselves here. So, and then the card is just the list item. So this is showing as a list item. I wonder how it shows on here. Let's inspect it. So there is a ul somewhere it must be on the index page yeah here we go so a ul and then we're calling in the cards which is an li and then we're injecting the link the title and the body in astro you can use any supported ui framework reacts felt view to render islands in the browser. So islands are kind of like components, how they can be interactive or static depending on their state. You can mix and match different frameworks on the same page. That's cool. Or just pick your favorite. So you can use view and react in the same on the same page. So here they're going over the extension, the structure, which is between three dashes, like a markdown file. You import in the front matter, and then you use the component in the body. You also set variables in the front matter. That's interesting. So it kind of like organizes your imports in your JavaScript. However, functions should go in the body. HTML attributes can be converted, converted to string. <clears throat> HTML attributes can be converted to strings, so it's not possible to pass functions and other objects to HTML elements. So they would live if it was if it were a function, it would live in the body between script tags, similar to how styles are within style tags within the body of the astro. The dot astro. So let's add another page. Let's do something dot astro. I wonder if it automatically routes. I wonder if it automatically, let's see, do we have it running still? Yes. I wonder if I could just go to slash something. How do I initialize a page? Oh, I spelled it wrong. Yeah. So you load the page in the pages file and it automatically calls it automatically creates the route and sets the sets the path based on the file name and here we got a loop of items and the variables are in the front matter what if i want to do a collection like a, a subfolder 
So if I had existing static projects, like collections within Jekyll, I could just drag the folders for each of the collections within the pages directory, and it would automatically set up the routes. With Jekyll, you have to like individually set up the collection output. And it's like a whole other process with this. It's like you could just drag and drop all of those folders and it would automatically generate the new paths and the sub paths, the permalinks and everything. All right, well, let's get something, let's get something on the nav at least here. And then we will import it in the layout, right? Import nav. And then we'll do nav. Okay, that one's not using our layout, so it should show here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Let's let's see how easy it is to deploy. So I'm going to create, let me push this to GitHub. Testing Astro. Let's see, it automatically detects that it's Astro. I'm going to deploy. What else can we look at here? Integrations. It's cool that you can like pick which framework, which CMS. They give you a lot of options. It looks like there's pretty good support. The docs are pretty good from what I've seen so far. I mean, I kind of like, I'm so used to Jekyll and using the liquid templating engine that it's a little... This seems, this seems like uh, very JavaScript framework heavy. I liked with Jekyll that it was like something different. It just seemed to make more sense to me, I guess. I don't know. Just in my brain, the liquid templating engine makes more sense than listing out these like complex JavaScript uh, functions and stuff. But if you're comfortable with that type of thing, this will be better. Hey, yeah, if you learned anything or you enjoyed it and you want to see me do more videos on Astro, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much. Have a great day.